Hi everyone, it's Meher from Vancouver, BC and welcome to my YouTube channel. The purpose of my videos is to introduce you to tips that will help you elevate your job search by interviewing experts in the field. And if you are a first time viewer, please subscribe to the channel so that you get the notification every day I post a new video. So let's start with today's interview. Hi everyone, welcome back to another great interview series. Today I have the privilege to interview Mark Metry. Hi Mark, how are you doing? I'm 10 out of 10, man, how about you? I'm doing great, thank you for being here for the second time. So Mark is a TechX keynote speaker on an Amazon Prime documentary series, and he is yes. a broadcast host of Human 2.0 where he interviews world-class human beings on a global top, top 100. And, and I've known Mark uh, a while now. We've been chatting on LinkedIn, on Instagram. So, and you shared your story, Mark, very openly and your struggles and how you make success. So for the audience who do not know you or, or know you but want to hear again your story, can you tell us about your journey and what struggles you had and the companies you built and how can we learn from your experiences? Yeah, definitely. So, um, you know, to take it one step at a time, uh, I was born in 1997 in the East Coast of America. Um, my parents are immigrants from Egypt that came here a couple of years before I was born. Um, we very much lived the, uh, the immigrant lifestyle, had a very, you know, kind of simple childhood, um, didn't have a lot of money, but I remember you know, having great times with like my, my parents. Um, it, today, when I look back at it, for me, uh, you know, big factors that really influenced who I am today were, you know, as a kid, I began to develop some uh, physical health issues. Mm. And I began to go to the doctor like all the time, nothing, you know, too serious, like, you know, having cancer or anything like that, thank God. Um, and also at that same time, I ended up moving to a school outside of the city that was very small, uh, small town mentality, 5,000 people in that town. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was maybe, you know, my family mm -hmm. and maybe a couple other families in that whole town that were not white, that did not look like everyone else. And so... Um, you know, I definitely had my fair share of people being very racist to me, uh, bullying. Um, I had those health issues that I talked about. And really what ended up happening was from maybe, you know, third grade, fourth grade, nine, 10 years old, I just retracted from the world. And I uh, began to develop really severe social anxiety. I became super, super shy. I didn't really want anybody to talk to me. Um, I didn't really have any close friends. I wish nobody would know my story uh, at all. You know, like today I go around and I talk all about it. But back then, if like in my head, it's like if someone knew it, that would be the end of me. Um, so it's crazy how things have flipped. Um, and so like kind of going through that, those hard times, the way that I kind of coped with that, the way that I, um, you know, kind of dealt with that was by going on the internet. And I remember. When I was 12 years old, I worked one job at like the store, sweeping floors and cleaning tables. Mm -hmm. And I saved up enough money and I, I bought myself a little laptop. And then I started from that, I started to make like YouTube videos online, um, starting different websites, making apps for the iPhone eventually when they came out. Mm -hmm. Nothing really specific, just mm -hmm. kind of like, just trying to like play around. Um, you know, I kind of saw technology as this big, big space of opportunity. Yes. Uh, and I even remember, even though I'm a young person, I remember when people my age, um, you know, didn't even respect the internet. They thought this was just some kind of a, a fad or it wasn't too important. Mm. Um, but, uh, but I was doing that. And so, you know, long story short, uh, when I'm kind of going through this time in my life where I'm experiencing a lot of social anxiety, a lot of physical and mental health problems, um, I also ended up starting, you know, a community online, mm -hmm. which became a business, which, you know, made me a lot of money mm -hmm. in a short amount of time. And, uh, you know, I never had access to any kind of that money before, you know, like my parents and I, we lived off like government assisted housing, food stamps, things like that. 
Um, and so I finally began to make money, honestly, off doing something that I really enjoyed. Yeah. And so, and what do you, why do you, you started the podcast? What made you said, I want to try this and the success yeah. that you have, like all these great people that you have. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, so yeah, so it kind of ties back to this. So, um, sorry, this might take a while. I'm just trying to frame it. <laughs> um, so, so basically, you know what I realized is when I made a ton of money, at a young age, mm -hmm. uh, I got very confused and I got very depressed actually, because all my life I was always told like, Hey, um, you know, you'll be happy when you have money, you'll be happy when you are rich. And I reached that spot, but I was not successful. I was not happy. I was not proud of who I was. And so this kind of set like a long journey, you know, from basically ages 18, where I fell down a dark spiral in my life where I got uh, super depressed. I was over 200 pounds at one point. I was socially isolating myself. I was suicidal for two, three weeks and uh, really just like my own version of rock bottom. And so as I began to climb out of that and as I began to get into self-development, working on my mindset, working on my health, working on my physiology, uh, as I began to get into or rather understand the, you know, the whole entrepreneurship culture and people starting businesses. I kind of felt like I kind of belonged. I found like kind of my circle of people. Um, and so for me, I started a podcast uh, in 2017 mm -hmm. and you know, it was not because I wanted to like have a brand or it's not because I wanted to market myself or make a business out of it or make money. It was simply the fact that, you know, last year I was in a very bad spot mentally, emotionally, spiritually in my life. Mm -hmm. And I had just tried to figure it out. Mm -hmm. And so when you do this and when you're on this journey, it's very hard. It's very, very, very hard. And so I was thinking like, man, you know, looking back at my life, you know, I've learned that if I want to learn anything, you know, directly head on, I have to speak with someone who is a world top expert in this subject so I can get better. People that are actually out there doing the work at the top, top level of their game. And so for me, I was like, okay, I guess I'm just gonna start a podcast and use it as kind of like this vehicle, not to grow my brand, but to just help me talk and have conversations with people, um, you know, doing it when I was 20 years old. And so that's kind of how I started and why. Yeah, again, thank you for sharing and your broadcast has tons of high class people i recommend everyone subscribing watching and it's online and uh, again thank you for sharing your story uh, mark and for the audience watching or listening how i my inter I, how i conduct my interviews i'm going to ask mark several questions and those questions will be posted uh, on one week so as if you are having a journey with mark and me every day you're going to listen uh, different topics and if you are a first time watcher please uh, subscribe to the channel like and share and tune in tomorrow for another question with mark